When I was younger, I wanted to be a mage. They say anyone can cast, but few have real talent. Indrasa? What have you heard about the Covenant attack? Nothing since the army pushed them back. I heard the hero of Balfoyan helped them. Balfoyan? That's the Argonian mudhole to the east, yes?
They say the Hist weeps with happiness when an Argonian hatches. Lock your doors tonight. I found another one. I won't go down without a fight. If you've got business, then let's get on with it. I've got to catalog a slew of broken hilts before the next fortnight. I see the messenger found you, comrade. We've discovered much since our adventure in Mizenelt. The events of the past continue to stalk us. The visions, my friend. The Aeliads fled from the forces of Molag Bal and hid away the remains of a powerful relic. Merrick has taken the crystal and the tome to an ancient forge. There, he's begun the work of crafting the weapon anew. In time, comrade. First, you and I must travel afield to the ruined city of Agarlis. It was there the Aeliads went, to stop the Mortum Vivicus. Together we will understand the threat to the present and the events of the past. Comrade, you were the first person I thought of when it came time to explore a musty ruin. That is meant as a compliment. Of course, you have much to concern yourself with. When last we spoke, we had explored the dwarven ruin of Mizenelt. We found an ancient crystalline tome, left behind by a squad of alien soldiers fleeing undead abominations. You have my apologies, comrade. When I heard the ancients speaking of the Mortum Vivicus, I knew the past might contain more clues to solve our present crisis. I wanted to begin my research immediately. We call it the Earthforge. Merrick found it on a contract a few years ago. The maintenance constructs had long since shut down. The ruin contains the most unique blacksmithing setup. Even the basest of metals sing in its embrace. In Mizenelt, we saw visions of ancient soldiers, survivors of a strategic attack on a city of darkness. Abagarlis is that city, an ancient stronghold of Molag Bal. I expect we will learn much from those old stones. Welcome to the ruins of Abagarlis, comrade. Ancient home to a foul den of necromancers and Molag Baal worshippers. We are here to relive the past. In Mizenelt, we saw a squad of soldiers on the run for their lives. Here, at Abagarlis, that same group was calm and in control. Together we can see what they saw and discover what they knew about the Mortum Vivicus. After Mizenelt, I researched a way to take control of the visions we saw. Osterand was the ancient soldier charged with bearing the prismatic weapon into battle. It is through his eyes you will see. And, in turn, I will see through your eyes. The ancients stood against the Vivicus and survived. Now, Molag Bal makes ready to unleash the same relic against Tamriel again. It is my hope the courage of the long dead will save the living of today. Still just a moment, comrade. It's up to you, Master. You bear the prism. 
pragmatic weapon, and the hopes of everyone in Delodil. Lenath and Kurano will hold the door from this side. Velasha and I from the other. May the sunburst guide your sword arm, my friend. You must ensure I am not disturbed. Maintaining the final phase of the Mortum Vivid requires all of my concentration.
stop the more tomb, Vivacus. Oh no! Master, please! Spare me! That was Prince Malian, scion of evil King Anuma. He must have been left behind to defend the Vivicus. the light. That must be the Mortum Vivicus. I remove the Vivicus to Cold Harbor. This doom will come again to Camriel. Comrade, over here! This is terrible, my friend. Asteron was on the verge of destroying the Vivicus and... nothing. The rapids have grown swift. 
and we did not even notice. Let me explain. Do you remember the notes you took from Dosha's lair? The ones that spoke of the Vivicus? I had assumed that this relic she spoke of was a legend. Even when I heard the words of Osterand, Endera, and their companions, I thought this was a threat from a time long forgotten. But, comrade, we just saw it. The Vivicus was never destroyed. You saved Merrick from a worm cult plot to harvest souls, remember? Those souls are fuel for the Vivicus. The intact Mortum Vivicus that Molag Bal has kept hidden all this time, safely tucked away in Cold Harbor. You must go to the Forge. Help Merrick Atiswala restore the prismatic weapon to its full potential. I will do what I can to find where he has hidden the Vivicus. Comrade, I put my faith in you. You must tell the others. Warn them. Can I count on you? Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released, if it is released, the world as we know it will end. You saw through the eyes of Osterand, one of the valiant ancients that fought and died in Mazenaut to safeguard our future. According to what we saw, it was he who slew Queen Palolel and stopped the use of the Mortum Vivicus. Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of... How was your research trip with the Guildmaster, comrade? Truly, what happened? Were the ruins infested with undead? Stendar's wrath would have served you in good stead. Comrade, did you say try? The Vivicus is not some long-destroyed legend. Then, when Dosha took me prisoner, she was to harvest my soul for this abomination? By all the eight! We should be moving. Aleph will await us here. Keep watch for any unfriendly faces. Come, follow me, and try to keep up. I helped to find this place years ago, Stendar's will. Comrade, this news is disquieting. I'm glad you're here with us. I've made preparations to work the prismatic crystal, to reforge the weapon from the time of the ancients. In truth, I thought this weapon would just be a powerful symbol. It seems we have great need of this important relic. Welcome to the Earth Forge. Quite a sight, is it not? Comrade, we must restore this weapon of old. Make ready for any new plots by the Prince of Lies. I feel the strength of Stendar flowing through my arms. Are you prepared? I shall work the anvil, form the core. You will keep the fire at the proper temperature. Many and many times must the fire be stoked to keep an even flame and flow. Use the bellows here to stoke the flame just a bit. Use the valve to my other side to stoke it yet more. And for a truly fearsome blaze, pour fire salts on the coals. The lever just next to the valve releases pressure from the forge. But do not worry. I'm certain you'll do fine. Are you ready to begin? 
This equipment is very old and very delicate. Stend our willing. We must try to get it right the first time. Here are the fire salts. Let's begin. Build me a small fire first, and I shall tell you when you are close. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. That's done it. Just a moment and I'll work on the core. Double the heat of the last one. These flames are starving. Feed them as much as you can. Don't be shy now. This fire's barely smoldering. More, more! Not quite there yet, comrade. We've got a ways to go. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Ease up now. The fire is very close. What have you done? The pressure has grown too great. Now we have to start over. But we need more, much more. More heat, make it hotter. Put the spurs to it, give it all you've got. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there. Stand back. I shall prepare the core. Now we need an even hotter fire. The largest yet. Twice the size of the last one. Give it all you've got. I need all the heat you can get. Give it more. Get the flames large enough to make Lecky blush. More. Make this fire remind me of Sentinel Sands. Keep it coming. The heat's rising, but we're not there yet. Give it all you've got. I need all the heat you can get. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Up. The fire is very close. Stendar's wrath, that fire is hot. Just a moment, comrade. I'll prepare the core. Well done, comrade. Excellent work, oh my comrade. Together there is nothing we cannot do. We are well on our way, I can feel it. We'll have to tinker with it to see what... Stendar's grace, what's that noise? Fools! Do you truly think you could hide that trinket from the god of schemes?
people of Abagala serve me even in death. My devoted, kill them. Kill them and bring me the crystal. Forged. Bring that crystal to Cold Harbor. For the Lord of Brutality. Serve me, even in death. Stand our shields. The Earth Forge overrun with undead. That was Molog Ball himself. Did you hear his voice? It made my blood run cold. That such an evil thing could be right here, in our midst. I do not know. Perhaps he somehow can track the core itself? If the Prince of Lies is planning to use the Vivicus once again, the prismatic weapon is a threat to his plots. No, not just yet. We came so close. Don't worry, though. I can complete the final steps on my own. This weapon will yet see the light of day, mark my words. The Mortum Vivicus will yet be destroyed. You have the right of it. I'll speak with the Provost Generals and post some guards. If undead can come boiling up out of the mountain at any time, there's no telling what might happen here. Yes, we should be going. We must find Seize All Colors and inform her what has happened here. Lead on, comrade. Stendar, are you all right, Aleph? What happened in there? How do these worms find the forge? We were finishing up when they appeared. They were after the crystal and tome. How did they know? How did they know about this place? Aleph does not know. Merrick, this whole thing is madness. She has us hunting Daedra, and now they come calling on our doorstep. Aleph, behind you! Aleph, Merrick, I do not rest easily. Dark moons. 
Guildmaster Iceblade, what's happening? I was murdered, comrades. Seek my killer. Let me find Yuck, peace. Wait! Who killed you? Interesting. Very interesting. Aleth has her suspicions. This is... unbelievable. Stendar's horn, we all thought the Guildmaster died in his sleep. I'm sorry, comrade. I knew Yafnir a long time. You're right. We need to report in. So much has happened. I think... I'll let Aleph lead the way this time. Come. Were you successful? Have you forged the weapon? We have more need of it now than ever, my friend. As you well saw. What has happened, comrade? I do not like the look on your face. Or the scowl Merrick bears. <sighs> the god of schemes himself has taken notice of our quest. We're all in murky water now, comrade. And the current grows swift. What? Yafnir murdered. This is dire news, comrade. The council must be told straight away. There will have to be an investigation. Thank you for standing beside us on this of all dark days. Merrick, Aleph, and I will confer with the Council of Provost Generals. We'll want to talk about the attack and this revelation about Guildmaster Iceblade. We'll contact you again when there's more to discuss. Until then, comrade. May Stendar keep you safe, comrade. We'll have need of your strength in the days to come. Some of those Dunmer travelers invited me for a drink. <laughs> they probably want to see what a drunk Argonian looks like. Stan, you were instrumental in crushing the Daggerfall army at Devon's Watch. Victory requires strength. Courage, a good weapon, and a great teacher. Hope you are prepared. Make it quick. We have a province to run. You're a new face in Stormhold. As Vice Canon tasked with today's duties of audience, it is my solemn duty to warn you of the killer loose in our fine city. Be on your way, travel in pairs, etc. That's not a question I've heard from a stranger. Fancy yourself a bloodhound, do you? I'd never doubt Stormhold's guards in a siege, but we've seen no progress with these murders. We'll gladly pay a bounty if you find the killer. Here's a list of the victims' families. Find out what they know about their murdered kin. I'm almost glad the guard never got around to it. As my son says, mammoths can't dance. You'll likely find Dendrith's Indolor at home. Get his Omovar works at the smithy. As for Tyrell Alor, try the Mage's Guild. Hold your nose when talking to that one. 
A while back, Argonians and Stormhold were slaves to the local Dark Elves. The two other Vice Canons work to mend the bad blood, but it's slow to get anything done when nobody trusts the Guard. Recently, some Argonians went missing. We heard a nasty rumor about Dark Elf slavers in the city. False, of course. Then the bodies showed up. All Dark Elves. The new rumor says Shadow Scales are targeting Dunmer. Nearly started a riot. They're a pain in the fundament. An armed group of Argonians lurking in the swamps, killing enemies of their people. If you want to twist the Dark Elves' ears anymore, you may as well burn an effigy of Almalexia. Excuse my silence. I have as much on my mind as a hatchling looking for supper. Strange lights coming from the There's hope for my ma. There's hope I for you. I thought it was deserted. Keep it up. Dangerous ruins are wherever oh. deserted. And stay away if you know what's good for you. of you, comrade. Ugh. These classifications are all wrong. We will never unravel the secrets of this place if we can't even label our discoveries properly. Perhaps a new indexing system would help. I'm glad Shalador found you. I need your help. Shea Gorath, he's made this process insufferable. I translated the last book you retrieved, but it doesn't make any sense. I can't find anything that might lead us to the next trial. I must be missing something. By all means, Circus of Cheerful Slaughter is just there on the desk. But be careful, the treachery of the Mad God knows no bounds. Good luck, my friend. This time, it's almost as though the runes themselves were mocking me. I translated the text relatively quickly. You can see when you read it, the words themselves just make no sense. If you told me years ago that I'd do spell work with Shalador, I'd have called you a liar. I'm happy to do the work. It's the chance of a lifetime, but I can't help but feel I'm in over my head. <laughs> 